What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how to change the Windows boot screen. That's when Windows is booting up and you see that little uh, emblem that's moving around with Windows 7 on it. We're going to be changing all that to a new funky design. But before I do that I want to stress that this is not for everyone and if you do decide to do it you will be doing this at your own risk. I will not take no responsibility if you lose data or your system crashes and Windows crashes and you have to format and rebuild your operating system. I'm not going to be responsible for that okay guys. So let's get started anyway. So the first program you're going to need is this. It's called Windows 7 Boot Updater. You can uh, donate here if you wish if you find it useful. But this guy has made a little program which allows you to change uh, the actual icon or the actual uh, animation in there okay. And also he's got some original download ones here as well. Now I have uploaded this to Virus Total. It's totally safe. There's nothing in it. So if you want to upload it yourself before you install it, just in case you think it's got a virus in it, it hasn't. And I've done that and it's all clear. Okay. So anyway, so here's the actual uh, Windows 7 animation that you may want to roll back to. But as I said, it's always best to make a clone of your drive or make a restore point. The next thing we're going to be needing is some animations and you can get these on DeviantArt and we're going to be using this one here uh, which is made by this uh, corrupt uh, ninja we're going to be using this so kudos to him for making it and uh, I'll leave all these links in the description yes you can see there's tons of them on here people have made loads of them but this is the one I'm going to be showing you how to do okay I've already downloaded all my stuff so let's get started so what I'm going to do here is right click on this program and run this as administrator. Once we've got this fired up as you can see you've got the starting windows and when you click on play you should see what it looks like. Now we're going to be changing all this and you can change all the text and everything else if you wish. Okay. So let me get my uh, files here. I'm going to open up my files. I'm going to use 7-zip to do that and as you can see these are the actual files that the guy has created. Okay, He's got loads of different colours here from purple to blue to green to orange and uh, we're going to be using the uh, red one here or orange one I should say and uh, this is the one we're going to use the 4.3 Okay, and he's also got 16.9 in there so I'm just going to drag that onto my desktop there and close that off. Okay, to load up the BS7 uh, files, what we need to do here is go to where it says File and Load Boot Skin. And then we need to go to our location. Now, I've saved my orange particle boot screen into boot screen folder here. So I'm just going to quickly open this. And now it's selected animation here at the top, as you can see. And if I push this now, you will see that it's changed the actual animation on there. Now if I want to change this text here you can also do that as well and uh, as you can see here you can leave it as is if you wish and change the color so I'm just going to quickly change the color of it I'm not going to bother changing um, I'm going to just make it orange and also on to the next message where it says start in windows I'm going to also leave that as is but you can change it to what you like here but I'm just going to change that to make it all orange like so. So it's all in uh, the same color. Now there's also another way of doing it which is the other area where we can actually select a static image but we're using animation here. Okay so I'm going to apply this and that's successfully done. So let's reboot our system and see what it looks like. So I'm just going to quickly reboot And there you have the screen with the new animation on it. Pretty cool. So we'll just let this load in. Now you can also use other types as well if you wish. By downloading them off of that website there and I will put the links in the description now if you want to change it back you can also do that too so what we want to do here is right click on this and run this administrator click yes and then once we've got this back we can then put it back to 
default settings. So what we want to do here is click on animation and then go to desktop where we have our actual folder here and select that folder and there you can see it's back to normal. Now if we apply this that will change our windows back to the default settings. So that's basically how you change the Windows boot screen on a Windows computer. Now I don't use this on my own computers, I don't do it at all, I just leave it as standard. But if you want to learn how to do it, then that's how you do it, okay? But make sure that you make uh, adequate backups of your computer, and you do this at your own risk, as I said. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, hit the like button, guys. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button, and that will keep you up to date when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching. Bye for now.